let me explain something to you. The way life interacts with men. Most times, the day of your glory will be the day you will be in your least element. Most times. The day you have your largest stage will be the day you will be in your least element. Somehow, that's how life functions. And for those of us who are traveling ministers, it happens to us very often. The other day, I was invited to preach somewhere. And Pastor Yee Adeboe was also a guest minister. And he was going to watch the session. And unfortunately, I came drained. I was so, I didn't know he was going to watch. If I knew, I would have canceled on my meeting and prayed in tongues for many hours. I didn't know. I thought, because my session is not relevant, I will sneak in and sneak out. That day he was watching. And I came in tired and drained. Even my voice was gone. They now say, that is uh, following them. I said, what? Following which with? Can you reschedule me for the last session? They said, no, he's the one taking the last session. I came out, I went in quickly to do an emergency charge up. Here, 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 here. For where? My soul was flat. Hey! I came, I sat down. I was speaking in tongue, speaking in tongue. Lord, have mercy. Speaking in tongue. My soul was flat. 30 minutes before I came up, I went to the bathroom. Ba -ba 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 -ba. My soul was still flat. I carried my phone, played some of the songs that charged me. Put the speaker inside my ear for the sound to enter the hole of my ear and stare me. For where my soul was flat. I came out like a lamb to be slaughtered. Ha! Ah! I came out, I knew I was finished. The largest stage of my life. How can I come unprepared? Meanwhile, I go for meetings where I'm talking to students. As I enter, everywhere is on fire. How can this large stage become the day I came unprepared? Meanwhile, this man will never remember me again. He will never ask of me and he will never know I came. Kai, I shook my head and I said, Lord, forgive me. I have erred. And I went out. I sat down. As the seconds was ticking, my heart was beating. I wish they didn't give me the microphone. As the man went up to introduce me, my heart started beating fast. <sighs> I put my hand on my chest and closed my eye. I know some of the people watching will say, Kai is about to ascend. It's about. <laughs> oh, he's about to ascend. Oh, they didn't know I was praying for my life. Lord, how can I disappear from here? Lord, what can you do to cancel this meeting? What can you do to reschedule me? Let a senior minister just walk in so that they will apologize to me and say, please, this senior man has come. As they were introducing me, I had no choice. I just threw and collected the mic. The moment I handled the mic, <laughs> A garment, a garment descended from heaven and a man told me. The first word I said, the place scattered. I couldn't preach. I spoke for 30 minutes and the place was brutal from the beginning to the end. The power of God was carrying people and throwing them to another row of the seat. A garment, I didn't know where it came from. Probably an angel was commanded to hug me. I say, Father, 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 oh, may you not be left naked in the day of your manifestation. <laughs> Do you know the worst part? You will think you will learn your lesson. I didn't. They now invited me again to minister in light of last week. I still came tired. <laughs> when I came in, the person who welcomed me was the vice chancellor of Lagos State University. Dunsin was to minister before I came up. I said, why, why don't I minister before Dunsin? At least when I go, if Dunsin comes and the place is on fire, they will forget. Do you know how 
how the angels work. They are not emotional. If you have it, the moment you start, they will move. If it's not with you, they may be moving with intensity. If the person who is operating and they are moving stops and you start, they will go and leave you there. My heart was beating. I said, Lord, I repent. I will never come for any meeting unprepared again. If you help me. <laughs> I was begging. I was begging. Those in now went up, scattered everywhere. Those in was ministry. The flames were, it was as if they set fire there. I said, God of mercy. Why don't they connect? They should have connected to God's servant now so that he will bless people. Let our time. You know the worst part? Before I came up, they now say, God servant, please wait. Evangelist, college I have, we go up. What, what's the name now? I forgot. Is it college I have? That is the most renowned evangelist in the RCCG order. From the 80s, packed crowd, open deaf ears, cripples, all kinds of things. When you speak about veteran evangelists in Nigeria, he's one of the topmost. They say he will come and minister before you. I say, what? What? Why? What? What? Why? Why? How can, how can my father be preaching before me? They say, no, don't worry, don't worry, you are our guest. I say, no, I'm not a guest. I'm a son. <laughs> I'm a son. Let me greet the people and introduce him. They say, no, we have a program. Ah! The man came and was articulating scripture. As he was talking, the hearts of men were burning. Ah! I say, father, father, how did I come here again? Father, help me. Father, help me. Father, help me. Fire everywhere. When he finished, he now introduced me. Oh. Before I went up, they now said, Daddy is going to be broadcasting in 15 minutes. So, we, we, we are sorry. We reduce your time from 40 minutes to 15. So, I wouldn't even have time to boot. I collected the microphone like a man going for the slaughter. And as I handled the microphone, You can't process and you know you are coming to meet a panel meanwhile the day nobody cares that's the day you wake up with inspiration he said god will remember your sacrifice and he will send you help from the sanctuary there is a help that god said from the sanctuary it is man of sacrifice that understands that language in the day when your stage is set i tell you many times you will not be ready but there is a help. There is a help that navigates you from the sanctuary. Can you lift your hands tonight and repent every area of selfishness, every area you have undermined, sacrifice. That is why you can't wield power. Oh,